today's video blog, I want to talk to you a little bit about bluefin tuna fishing. Now, lots of times when we're fishing bluefin tuna, we have to do what we call a, a long soak. And what that means is normally when you have a light bait in the water, you're going to swap it out every two to three minutes. But when you do a long soak on a bait, and that just means that we don't have a lot of bait on the boat or we're running low on bait. So you're going to leave that bait out there a lot longer, maybe five, ten minutes. And I want to show you a video clip where I did that. I had this bait in the water for over five minutes. And again, normally I would change my bait every two minutes. But this particular bait was out five, six minutes out there. Didn't get bit, but I slowly worked the bait back to the boat and watch what happens. We got six fish going right now. It's getting toward the end of the day. We're on a day and a half trip, so that means we fish till dark. We still got about over an hour to go, and we just got another rebite. And this bite, if it, Skipper thinks toward the end of the day, we're gonna have a really good bite. So if that happens, probably gonna get limits. Everyone's, you know, pretty close to limits right now. Probably one or two fish around away from limits. So if we can get another 18 more fish, 20 more fish, probably have limits for everybody. So it's the same thing, fishing uh, 30 pound test line with uh, 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon on there. And I'm pretty sure I have a circle hook on this time. So I'm just lifting up, winding down. When the fish wants to swim towards the boat, you want to get as much line as you can. And you'll notice from time to time, you'll see the rods just bent straight up and down. The guys are fighting the fish. That's when the fish has its most power and control. When the fish starts to get tired, you'll notice that the line's gonna go up toward the surface. And as the line goes up to the surface, the fish is doing that because it's a lot easier for them to swim up that way. And it's easier to, uh, for them to fight against you. So when the fish does that, you know you're beating them up. Here he comes. Try not to take out the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's gonna be minus one. School is minus one of its members. <laughs> There's another bluefin tuna. I only need one more for my limit. Beautiful fish fishing on board the clips today. And one thing I want to tell you about this fish, this is one of those fish, a bluefin. When you have your bait soaked out there for a long time like we're doing today, and you're getting ready to change your bait, don't wind it in really quick. Take your time, wind it back slow. That's what I did on this fish. I was winding it back slow, not too fast and I got hit really hard, and I threw it in free spool, and the fish came and swallowed it, and that's how I got this fish. You just can't give up on them. And you're using a circle hook, and that's why that hook's right there in the corner of the jaw, which is perfect. That's where you want to hook them, just like that. These fish have a lot of teeth, so getting them in the corner of the jaw really helps a lot. Nice guy, man, thanks. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Eclipse, which we're having a great time aboard. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. I hope you enjoyed that video clip. Just wanted to emphasize how you can't give up on your bait when you're bluefin tuna fishing. Even if that bait's been out there for five or 10 minutes, you let it soak out there and when you wind it in, normally you're tempted to just wind it in really fast and get a live bait on. But for bluefin, wind it in slow, let that bait swim back toward the boat. And lots of times that bait will swim back over some bluefin, they'll come up and they'll eat it and you'll get a nice trophy fish like this one that I just landed. Well, for more information about the TV show, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching my show every week, and make sure you're watching me every week right here on these video blogs. I'll be posting them every week, give you more information about fishing techniques, information about the show, information about my youth foundation. And again, thanks again for watching the show. I'll talk to you real soon.